Alright, today we're going to be talking about how to use the Autonio Automated AI Trading Bot. First things first, go to Autonio's website and download the software that's right for your computer. I'm using a Mac, so we're going to download this one. And while that downloads, let's go ahead and make an Ethereum wallet at myetherwallet.com. Just put in a passkey and click create new wallet. Then you're going to download the key store file. And this is actually how you're going to access your wallet, so don't lose that. Click I understand and continue and save this private key in a safe place. Now save your address and click key store. And you're going to open it from that key store file that you just downloaded. Now click unlock. and the wallet was successfully decrypted. So now scroll down here and you'll have access to your new Ethereum wallet. You'll use this new Ethereum wallet to purchase Autonio's NIO token on etherdelta.com, which we'll need in just a minute. Okay, now once the Autonio file is downloaded, you're gonna wanna go ahead and unzip it. On a Mac, this will happen automatically, but if you're using a PC or Linux, you might want to use a software such as 7-Zip. Now open up that file and open Autonio. Now it's going to ask you to log in with an Ethereum address and password. So, to create a new account, you're simply going to copy your Ethereum address and choose a password. Now click Start Trading. Now, Autonio does require a membership fee in order to use the service, and to pay that, you're simply going to send the amount of NEO shown to the address at the bottom. Now, you can purchase NEO on EtherDelta.com and you're gonna to wanna to send it straight from there using either MyEtherWallet or MetaMask. And you're gonna to wanna to use a relatively high gas limit in order for this to confirm quickly. Now once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and click I Paid, and you're ready to get started. Now, one of the first things to take care of when you log in is setting up your API keys. So go to your settings, choose your exchange, and then get your API key. So on Bittrex, you go to settings, API keys, add new key, and you're going to want to turn on read info, trade limit, and trade market. After that, you'll put in your six digit authenticator code and click update keys. Now Bittrex is going to generate a new key and secret key for you, and you're going to want to copy those into Autonio. Be sure not to copy any extra spaces as some users have had problems with that. Now, once your keys are updated, you can go to backtest and start building your algorithms. First, you'll select the exchange, then you'll select your trading pair. For the example, I'll use AMP, and then you're gonna set an indicator interval. Now, this is how often Autonio is actually gonna check the indicators that you set in your algorithm. For the example, I'll use a 30 minute interval and we'll be testing data from January 20th through 21st. Now you have a lot of indicators to choose from, so I would suggest just starting with one or two to keep it simple and build from there. Two of my favorites that I'll be using today are RSI and KD. Now RSI is your relative strength index, and this measures how overbought or oversold an asset is at any given moment. And KD is your stochastic oscillator, and this actually compares the closing price of an asset to its previous price range within a given period. Now on the right side, you're gonna choose whether or not you want an inverse signal, and then you're gonna set your starting balances for your base currency and your asset. The portfolio percentage indicates how much of your portfolio is in your base currency. So for the example, it's about 99.99999%, so I just rounded that to 100. And then you're going to put in your exchange fees, which for Bittrex is 
and then you can start your back test. Now you should see something like this. So these animations represent buys and sells that Antonio would have made. The red arrows indicate sells and the green arrows indicate buys. It did a pretty good job of buying on the dips and selling on the peaks, which is exactly what we're looking for. And this was able to make about 4% profit in two days. So this looks like a pretty good algorithm. So we can go ahead and take this over to the live trading section to try this with real time data. So you're gonna fill out the live trading section the same way we just filled out the back testing section. Um, there are a couple added things to pay attention to, such as the stop loss and take profit. So stop loss is just where you're gonna stop taking loss and trade back to base currency. And take profit is where you're gonna trade back to base currency to secure your gains. Now one more thing to pay attention to on the right side is the show live stats option. When you have this box checked, Autonio will show you in real time all of the trades that are being made and it'll show you the quantity and closing price of each trade. Once you're ready to start trading, you're going to hit that start trading button. Now of course I'm only using a demo balance for this example, but when you're ready to trade for real, you're going to change that to live. When trading live, make sure you have at least 0 0.0005 Bitcoin worth of your asset and at least 0 0.001 Bitcoin worth of your base currency. Now keep in mind you won't see any action until the next time interval has passed. So since I chose a full hour time interval, I'm going to have to wait until the next whole hour has passed, which will be at 5 o'clock. Once some time passes, you'll start to see some action on your screen like you see on mine right now. You shouldn't expect to be seeing a trade at every single time interval because that's not going to happen. Once you're satisfied or you want to start tweaking your algorithm again, just go ahead and click stop trading. And that's it. That's how you use Autonio. If you have any more questions, you can join the community on Telegram at t.me slash Autonio. Enjoy, guys.